that's the lowest note I can play on this. Hey guys, you're watching Key Crafts, and I'm back with another miniature dollhouse assembly video. Today I'll be assembling this Japanese style miniature dollhouse that I received from Banggood.com. They've sent me a lot of miniature dollhouses over the years, and I always love assembling them and taking lots of cool pictures and montages of them. This is my new favorite dollhouse, mostly because I finally have someone to live in it, and it is Kakashi from Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. I got this amazing Kakashi Nendoroi for my birthday and it came with so many different parts and faces so that I could pose it and I can't wait for you guys to see how he looks in his new house. I'll be posting some of my photos on my Instagram and Twitter at cutiecraft so you should follow me over there and without further ado let's get started with the video. I wanted to make this dollhouse for Kakashi because he's one of my favorite characters in Naruto and currently I've watched all episodes of Naruto and I'm right in the middle of Naruto Shippuden so I have like 250 episodes left to go and then I have the whole Boruto series to watch after that so I have lots to catch up on. I feel like the more I watch this anime and the more I learn about the characters and their backstory the sadder it gets but there are some uplifting and encouraging encouraging moments in this show and if you want to watch this anime during quarantine like I decided to do then prepare for a roller coaster of emotions. Anyway, like all of the other dollhouse kits that I've assembled on this channel, this kit comes with all of these cutouts to help you cut the perfect pieces for all the different components and I am making all of the structural parts first. This house comes with three working LED lights that will be wired to a battery box at the back of the house. I'm using clear Elmer's glue or you could also use wood glue to stick all of these pieces together. These pieces will make Kakashi's bed, which is where he probably spends a lot of time reading his makeout series books and also where he rests whenever he uses his left eye too much. Of course, he will need a bedside nightlight. In the anime, you can see that he has these green bed sheets with little ninja stars or shuriken on them, and perfectly this kit came with a green polka dot bed sheet, and I just filled in each of the dots with some gray marker to make it look like little ninja stars. There were originally two green pillows, but I changed the cloth to a white cloth so that it matches his bed. Next, let's assemble some of the various miscellaneous items that are included. This is a water wheel so that Kakashi can practice his Seiton water style jutsu. At first I thought this was a shogi table, which would have been perfect for when Shikamaru comes over to play and protect the king, but actually I think this is a wei tea or Chinese go table, so kind of a different game. Here's the rest of the furniture that were pretty straightforward to assemble. Here I'm assembling a zabuton floor cushion, and I recommend using hot glue to easily get the sides of the fabric to stick onto the wood. This was supposed to be an electric fan, but I turned it into a Fuma shuriken instead. Some more miscellaneous items that I assembled off camera since they're so small and it's just really hard to film all of it. This strip of paper turns into a book after you accordion fold it and glue it together. And then I printed out a Makeout Tactics cover to go around the book. I looked for some scenes where you can see the surroundings of his room and I noticed he has this picture of a mountain and a Nin kanji character on his wall so I put them onto a word doc and made these little picture frames and I glued them and cut them out from a piece of cardboard. 
Finally, it's time to start assembling everything together. With the main structure and lighting done, let's start furnishing the house. The first floor is made of tatami mats and I love that there's a little tea area with a pot of tea and tea cups. I read somewhere that Kakashi has a plant called Mr. Uki, so he goes down here under the stairs. In front of that is the sitting area where Team 7 sits whenever they come to visit. On the menu are some of Sasuke's hospital apples, some veggie rolls, and some onigiri. The Allied Shinobi Forces symbol goes out here along with five different plants to represent each of the five Kages. The photos go up on the wall near the stairs and first is Team Minato's group photo. Then Team Kakashi, the Ninja Hounds, and this little mountain photo. There's a little sewing machine for him to patch up all of his ripped clothes from all that fighting, and a bedside table to hold all of the essentials. And the final touch is the hidden leaf symbol. To get the lights to work, I connected the black wire to the white wires and the white wire to the light gray wires. The battery compartment fits nicely into this slot with the wires hidden inside and it fits two 1.5 volt button batteries to turn the lights on. However, my batteries weren't working so I needed some help from Kakashi. Are you kidding?
unfortunately guys, it's the end of the video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching all the way till the end and listening to my recorder playing. I'm practicing and will get better eventually. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys watch anime with subs? or do you watch it dubbed? Personally, I like watching it subbed, but when I was little, I watched Naruto and Yasha, all sorts of anime dubbed because I could only see it on TV at the time and they all played it in English. So I have experienced dubbed and subbed anime, um, but I like sub more. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time with another cutie cat. Bye.